Hello. Uh, hi, Paul. <laughs> I'm surprised I was uh, dropped right into the middle of this uh, game, by the looks of things. Uh, we're playing Warhammer 40k Space Wolf. This is like a little first look. The uh, game was released on Early Access today. Um, so, just thought we'd try and, try and bring you a quick vid. Show you what's going on. Right, apparently we've... Uh, We've trespassed on Kanak, Dog of Rus. Oh, I'm the Dog of Rus. I thought Kanak was the Dog of Rus. No, it's not. I'm a, I'm a Space Wolf. I'm a Space Wolf, therefore I am the Dog of Rus. There I am. Obviously. Obvio. Got to kill all the Chaos Space Marines. There's lots of fire. Right, let's try and do a voice. We're gonna, I gave this a go with, um, in Alone With You. It didn't go down very well. But uh, here we go. You have trespassed on Kanak, Dog of Rus. Now die for desecrating world bearers' territory. World bearers, you jackass. Word bearers. Oh well, whatever. Come then, traitor. Many have tried to slay me. I shall add you to the tally. Maybe you should have a sort of a Nordic kind of accent. Space wolves, you know. Anyway, yeah, I played. Yeah, I played. I played 40k. I know what I'm doing. Yeah, kind of, sort of, maybe. Movement needs to make, move close to the enemy to make a shot. Where is the enemy? Can I see him? I can't. Ooh, I can move. There he is. Look, hello, fella. Right. Set the highlighted card to move your character. You can use almost any card in the game to move your character. Move. Let's go. Move the character. One movement. Click the move button. Makes sense. Okay. So one movement is several slots. What was this? Several slots. Several squares. That's the facing direction. Okay. Forward. <gasps> action points. Usually you start each turn with two action points, with one action point each time you play a card. Ooh. It's like a bolt one card. Where does it tell me how many action points this will cost? Well, I suppose it just costs an action point to use a card, I guess. Okay. Click the use button to make a shot. Do it. Kick his ass to your bass. Yeah, eat that. Eat that, Chaos Space Marine. You word bearer bastard. Oh, there's two of them. Shit, we're in trouble. Two word bearers. Oh no. Right, do we move? I, oh, I've got a flamer. I've got a Lucius Patton flamer. What do we do? What do we do? Uh, gun him down again? Gun him down again. Range four, so I can kick. Yeah, I can hit him. I should have hit the other one. What, what, what am I playing at? What are you playing at, Jamie? Oh, now I can use the. How far is that? Or oh, range four still, so I can still get this guy. Oh, it affects all targets. Brilliant. Love a code of fire. Yes, have it. Got to love a flamer. You missed. <laughs> oh, you got me that time. Oh, well, never mind. My power armor is stronger than yours. Should we just gun him down or should we move in and get the old chainsaw out? Let's move in and get the old chainsaw out, shall we? Not miss the opportunity, do we? That facing direction and chainsaw. <laughs> Thank you very much. Cool. Victory! Golden schools to level up. Great. Complete the mission, which I did. Next round. Oh, a little bit of Russian? Is that Russian? Well, it's developed by um, Herocraft. I think that's a Russian publisher or uh, developer. Important information about Wolfguard there. Okay, well, that was a quick. Quick little intro mission there, that was quite nice. Just gonna fuck about with the settings a minute, just make sure everything's tip top. Back in a moment. Well, we've got multiplayer. Have we got multiplayer? Let's jump into the campaign though. Brothers in Arms. Primary objective scout the area, kill all enemy units. Recover a chapter forge crate. Now, I'm not. I'm not too hot on my. Um, on my 40k knowledge. Uh, it's not been used for quite some time. So uh, I might get quite a bit of things wrong, might be quite a bit of relearning. But hey, I, I, you know, 
I like some power armor. I like some uh, some space marines. A bit of spacey marine action. I think that guy's a librarian just there, judging by his wolf helm thing and his big mace. It's not really a hammer. Is it a hammer or a mace? Hammer or a mace? a hammer. Power hammer. Probably a hammer. Whatever. Let's go, squad leader. Valgard. Great name. Okay. Can't do anything there. Let's get the area and kill any units. Valgard. I need to cleanse the area of traitors and locate surviving pack brothers. Okay, Valgard, let's do it, mate. You and me, pal. Pack brothers it is. Oh, there's a Chaos Marine there. There's a Chaos Marine there. Is there like a fog of war thing? Because, I mean... I can see for miles. I mean, I know I'm a, I'm a space marine and everything, so presumably you can just see for miles. Unless there's some... Well, I can see the loot crate over there. Hello! Uh, you may notice that there's been a bit of a jump here. Now, I had a bit of a problem with my audio, so I've gone into post-commentary for the rest of this little uh, video preview. This is really a first look at Space Wolf. I don't know if I mentioned it previously. Uh, <laughs> I think I might have been. But, um... This is very, very early access. Uh, yeah, it came out the day I recorded this. Um, I'm now recording this commentary a couple of days later. Uh, and having thought about it and uh, watched this through again, there's a, there's a couple of things that I like about it and there's a couple of things that I'm sort of a bit wary of to start off with. Um, just while we watch me failing miserably to play this game, um, I'm going to go through a couple of those things right now. This is very much the first thing that I've played and that I've you know, not really had a chance to dabble much further into it. Um, spoiler alert, but I failed this mission quite quite horribly. Um, but yeah, there's, there's a couple of things I'd like to talk about about it. And the first one is the cards. I've thought about it now for a couple of days and I'm really not that big of a fan. I don't get it. I really don't get it. Maybe... Maybe it sort of gets better as the game progresses. Obviously, uh, you unlock more cards. You can craft cards. Um, that's something that I found out after after failing this mission. You can craft new cards. But I think the problem comes because it just seems like such a gamey contrivance. Uh, it's not 40k at all. I've played lots of games of 40k in my time. I never once had a randomised pack of cards to tell me what I could and couldn't do. Now, you can still move. You can discard a card or you can you can sort of use a card to move instead of using it for its intended purpose. But there's a couple of other things wrong as well in that your guy is clearly, at the moment, my guy is clearly carrying a chainsword and possibly a bolt pistol. But I've got no jetpack on. Yeah, I can select a jetpack. Uh, and you know it, it's 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 gamey. It's a you know it's a video game. These things are possible. But in 40k, if your guy doesn't have a jetpack on, you can't use him as a jetpack guy. You know, if he's not got a if your model's not got a chainsaw, you can't really give him a chainsaw. Unless unless there's things about the game that I don't know. I'm, I'm, that's how I always used to play it. Though is like you need to have the properly representative model to be able to uh, to wield the weapons that you want to wield. But, yeah, or the, th the other thing is, where the heck is he keeping all these things? You know, but <laughs> that's that's a silly thing to say, because games have inventory systems, and, you know, I've played loads of games where you can carry around Bacona Exiles. The other day, for example, where I could carry around all of the makings of a three-story mansion in my inventory when I had no clothes on. That's, <laughs> that's a gamey contrivance, but I think, I think my problem is that this is trying to be 40k. It's the closest thing I've seen yet, apart from playing Tabletop Simulator, to actually capturing the nature of 40k, in that, you know, you've got turn-based combat, you've got uh, the different weapons, you can see the individual space marines, you've got control of them all, etc, etc, etc. That's pretty cool. I quite like that. That sort of, you know, get up close and really, really nail them thing. Anyway, that's a sad point. Um, but, yeah, I, I just think it comes so close to being 40k, but then you've got the cards, and then I'm thinking, why? Why have you got the cards? I suppose it does uh, it does add an element of sort of tactical thinking because you can plan ahead with the cards that you've got. You can discard cards. You can use cards to get more cards. But it feels like I'm not just playing 40k. It feels like I'm playing 40k and Hearthstone 
And I just want to play 40k. Just get rid of the cards. Give me, you know, maybe a couple of weapons. Sling a weapon on the back as well and say you can swap weapons. You can equip weapons here. Uh, though I still have to figure out exactly what that means. But just for me personally, not that big of a fan of the cards. This is quite cool though. The, the fact that it has different, you know, you can sort of stack cards so they'll have effects based on what your enemy does. That's pretty funky. This guy is a glass cannon and I found him really difficult to control because I didn't know what to do. And if you use one of your weapons to move, I think it sort of reduces the amount that you can move by. Well, I'm sure we'll see later. Um, so you don't always have that consistent range of motion. What I would have done with the cards, me personally, I would have used the cards for sort of status boosts. So as opposed to having a card that says move, you have your standard move action, but you can burn a card to move an extra two spaces or something like that. Or you can burn a card to focus fire and you know add damage modifiers or whatever. That, that's what I would use the cards for. Still give me my standard range of motion, still give me my standard being able to shoot things from far away. I am a genetically altered, uh, genetically modified superhuman, so, you know, me being able to see a guy that's only four spaces away from me is, eh, maybe I don't shoot that guy that's only four spaces away from me, just feels a little bit sort of silly, because these guys can, these guys can see for miles, they've got really good accuracy, really good aim. That I should be able to hit something that's pretty far away, but I can't. I don't know. Um, one of the other things uh, that was sort of sort of bothering me was the the mission here. I don't know if it's because it's the first mission and I'm still sort of learning the ropes, or if I'm supposed to fail the first mission and learn from it and be more tactical with the cards and sort of try discarding cards and you know I don't know. But um, yeah, I, I really I failed this one pretty hard. There's no healing either that I've seen so far. Um, so this guy was pretty much screwed from the start. This little scout guy. Uh, and the other thing, you've got to get them all back. You've got to get them all to the extraction point. And in 40k, you could fail. You, you had failed your stage. You didn't have to get everyone back and things like that. Well, in, in the games that I played. Um, and in a lot of video games, you have you can have sort of you can succeed but with an element or, or with a with a with a sort of you know a, a free sort of failure you know you could you could not accomplish all of your all of your objectives but still progress with the story at a detriment and for me that would work better than me having to you know trudge through this thing and get all of, all three of these guys out because as you'll see uh, when we move through this my scout guy gets jumped on by about four other dudes in a minute and it's like, there's no way, there's no way that guy would be able to survive this. Especially not when I've got my Terminator locked up with a couple of people, my uh, my normal Space Marine locked up with another couple of people, and then these guys just wailing on my poor little scout fella. I mean, it might be my fault. It could be my fault. It could just be because it's the first mission. It just feels a little bit too big. It feels a little bit literally hit and miss, as you can see. I don't know, I don't know. Positives, a lot of positives though. It looks great. It looks like it looks like 40k. It feels like 40k. It sounds like 40k. Um, and you know, it, for the most part, it does play like 40k. And I'm sure moving forwards, as we add more elements to the squad, we get a bigger squad and we have more cohesion and things like that. And I'm not starting in three different places on the map. Um, I reckon I reckon it'll it'll feel a lot more like 40k. And there's going to be a lot more sort of tactics involved because this doesn't have. This has hardly any tactics at the moment. It's just, I don't, well, actually, I don't know. Maybe the tactic is that I should run through them and um, just try to get to the extraction point as opposed to trying to fight everybody. Maybe that's what I'll do. Maybe the next time I try it, that's what I'll do. Because look here, I sort of burn a movement point to get the jump on this guy when I could have sort of, had I planned it a little bit better, maybe I would have stood further away and shot them and then moved in. I don't know, whatever. But... Yeah, maybe I'm just crap. Maybe I'm lit. I'm probably I'm just crap at this game, and that's the reason that I failed. <laughs> anyway, as I say, this is this is early doors. This is a first look. Uh, I've in no way spent enough time with this game to to sort of um, sufficiently say whether or not I think it's good. 
I think it's got a lot of potential at the moment. As I say, I'm not a big fan of the cards, but I am a big fan of 40k. And it's got a 40k, but it's really got a 40k vibe. It feels very 40k. So maybe that would have been good as well. Just burn a, you know, have an extra action point so I can turn my guy around. I'm pretty sure that's not in 40k. But you have to, <laughs> you have to turn him. Oh, I don't know. And you've got you've got cones of fire, so you can you can shoot within a certain sort of arc, which this does. Let's let you do that. I think that's there. You go. We've we've figured it out. That's my major problem with this is that I'm comparing it to 40k because it does such a good job of feeling like playing 40k. I'm I'm comparing it too closely to 40k. Now I didn't do that with Dawn of War. I really like Dawn of War. Dawn of War is one of my favourite RTSs. It's absolutely brilliant, and that feels very 40k, but it feels very. Uh, it feels a little bit more like epic, like like like, like halfway between epic and squad based 40k, if you know what I mean. Because you could build up like you know, large numbers of troops and whatnot, but they you control them per squad. If you've never played Dawn of War and you like your RTSs or you like your Warcraft, uh, Warhammer, definitely play Dawn of War because it's great. You can probably get it super cheap as well at the moment. But uh, yeah, uh, yeah, I didn't I didn't compare Dawn of War too closely to 40k because it had that epic feel as well because it was an RTS because you're, you were building things and that's not something that you do in 40k but this is turn base you have to move you guys you you have to you pick your targets shoot and fire and everything else and it it does a great job of feeling 40k it's just some elements of it I'm just not particularly taken with as yet that may change this isn't a review this isn't a, this isn't a massive critique of um, uh, of Space Wolf as yet uh, that will be coming uh, but I'm going to spend some more time with it first and I'll be better able to explain why I've got problems with it or what problems I've got with it or you know what the, what the good things about it are and you know whatever and this is in early access so a lot of things could change a lot of things could change um, I think that's, uh, that's pretty much all I have to say so I'm just going to let this run uh, I'll show you my epic failure at this game so uh, no more commentary from me but um, yeah if you, if you wanted more commentary sorry I'm not going to do any more commentary but uh, you can carry on watching if you don't want to watch just turn it off now that's fine don't worry about it okay right hope you have a good day and uh, I'll see you all next time bye Oh, one last thing. Let me reiterate. I am awful at this, so yeah, don't don't have that against me. First time and all that. I'm sure you understand.